More club opening news. Good thing now. This time in London. Not 1,000, but 100. Interesting number. Very small, but I like it. I'm not mad at it at all. 100 capacity. I think that might be the same capacity as the glove that fits, isn't it? The glove that fits, which is a bar that's owned by one of the co-owners of Fold, actually. What's it called? Is it called the glove that fits what's the capacity of that because i think that's a very small club that is also really cool has a good kind of community side of it what's the capacity of that place yeah the capacity of the club of the glove that fits which is in hackney right morning lane yeah i've been there it's um it's a really nice little club it's 150 capacity that's a really nice capacity club too i like that it's got a bar up top and then you go downstairs and that's it's got like a nice little kind of basement bar type of vibe to it um a lot of uh, it, it, it might even act as like a little feeder club to fold. That'd be a pretty good way to get people to train up and play a certain place and they can go somewhere else and play. Maybe I should scroll down and see if there's any more pictures and see if we can see. When is it actually open? Is it open quite late? It's open. Oh, it's only open. Okay, that's why it's, maybe it's not jumping as much as it should be. It's only open until half one on the Friday and a Saturday. That's criminal, man. It should, it should at least, they should at least have a license up until three. At least. Half one is nothing literally nothing but anyway let's scroll down let's see some of the photos do we have any photos here of what it looks like on the inside because i forgot what it looks like a glove the glove that fits on here there you go boom let's see some of these pictures here see what i want for the actual vibe on the inside but i think if i'm not mistaken because i've been there a long time ago but i think it's like it's got this sort of like nice little bar at top on ground level and then when you go down it's got this like cool basement bar basement club type of vibe going on there kind of reminds me of plastic people's a little bit very small very intimate but a nice little vibe nonetheless can't really complain you get me you can't really complain so yeah this that's the vibe so i think that new club might have the similar sort of vibe to it let's actually check it out here bada bing bada boom um so this new club new capacity a new 100 capacity basement club cu coup coup to open in east london this month a free launch party in kings and road venue is taking place october 31st also oh, kings and road okay that's my that's my former stomping ground my former strip many a good times i had on that kings and roads walking up and down in in fucking dr martin boots that hurt and silly little vintage hats and shit nice located in the basement of kings and road bar copper copper cats oh i know where that is yeah i know where that is i know where that is that's 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 kind of going to the direction of that vintage store i know where that is nice i know that place i know that place is a um 100 capacity space that's been launched by the team behind the party series north london dub club okay no i don't know who they are the venue which formerly operated as the rocksteady has been linked has been kitted out so with a hand-built sound system courtesy of 30 hertz it also has an outdoor courtyard a free launch party hosted by motive hunter audio is for october 31st with a charitable donations going to war child further bookings in the coming weeks include hanno hinklebane yasmin fearless dread and freya so i wonder what the vibe is is it is it always dubby is that the vibe that they're going for is it is it is it going to be like um reggae type of vibes and shit the terms of the ethos nldc founder josh harris wants ku to be the hub for local music community the spectacle of large events can be certainly impressive but it seems like the best part of going out is when the highest percentage of people on the dance floor are your mates um he told resident advisor um, we want the mesh together the communities and the scenes cement ourselves as a venue where even if the music on the given night isn't quite your thing you'll stop you'll still pop in because chances are someone you meet there last week will be there and it'll be free or cheap to get in so, oh i love that i was actually thinking the other day if i do end up making another party again i just want to make it a free one even if i lose money just for the vibes like books book out a place like i don't know like fold or no let's say fold let's say like a color factory or something and just put on the night where it's just free where it's no entry i pay the djs doesn't fucking matter you know what i mean like whatever um that would be fucking sick i might that's something I'm, I'm thinking of doing just as just as a kind of like you know as a thank you to london and everything it's given me <laughs> um let's continue um 
Harris also stressed the importance of relaxed approach to running a club. Personally, I'd really like to see everything taken less seriously with some humility and sense of humour. At Coup, the only thing that will separate the DJ from the crowd is the nine inches of stage height and maybe drinks tokens. We want the crowd to feel part of something and at every event they come to as a venue, we still want them to feel part of the experience. See some more photos of the space. Okay, cool. Some nice little space. Basement bar there. 100 people. I like how it's spread across quite a nice bit of space there. Um, maybe, again, I have, to, I, have to, I, have to be, I have to be, you know, aware that this might be Airbnb type pictures, right? Where you take it with a really wide lens. So it makes everything look super big, but it's really small on the inside. But either way, it does look really cool. You've got a nice bar there um, to stand at. Wooden bar too. Has it got a little bar at the bottom? Oh, no bar at the bottom. That'd be perfect for, for to kind of rest and chill and put your feet up there. It needs a little bar at the bottom here to put your fucking foot up, you know? So I can rest some of my expensive shoes up there while I'm slipping some, you know, cocktail and chatting shit to a waitress and, you know, telling them about my life story and shit. I need that bar there. And obviously that's the outside of Copper Cat's um the bar i don't think i actually ever been to this bar i'm not gonna lie i'm not actually been inside but i know where it is on kings and road so that's pretty sick and we've got some events already there on the 31st you got motive hunter halloween free pop-up rave you've got horror boogie nights rave you've got a sub exotica rave happening as well so yeah looking forward to it nice and and also some of these parties happening on a thursday friday thursday so i, I like that there's gonna be the return to thursday nights should be a good one right return to thursday nights in dawson and it's not all just weekend shit because there's no there's no there's no worse place to be in the world than to be in dawson during a friday night honestly when all the weekend warriors come out it's horrible it's better to go out there on a wednesday or a thursday so thursday raves i'm i'm, I'm good with opening times at two no opens at two opens at eight sorry and it closes at 2 a.m which is again not the best because i'm assuming last orders will probably be 1 30 or 1 so you know the night's already done done diddly done but it is what it is they can they can't do any more than that in it so big up them big up them big up them